What's up, you guys? YouTube this is Mike from the Autograph Network, aka the Godfather, coming to you with a two baggage mail day today. It's actually yesterday's mail, didn't get anything today, but I didn't get a chance to make a video last night because I was hanging with the nation. Uh, that's the Spreecast hangout that the guys do from Autograph Nation, Jeremy Daniels and Stacy Schaefer. Uh, Stacy was MIA last night, so Jeremy was flying solo. Uh, I usually get in there about 7.30, and so I jumped on camera and showed off what I got in yesterday. So if you guys were in the Spreecast, uh, you saw what I got in. Uh, guys, go check that out. Always support those guys. Hang out on Thursdays. It's unscripted. We just talk about whatever. Uh, show off some autographs, and uh, then they report, record the podcast. So make sure you guys are supporting those guys because they do an awesome job. Uh, let's get this right out of the way. No postmark because it is uh, barcoded. Uh, a couple nice returns. I got to save the envelope because I got to show you something real quick. That one. All right. Um, here we go. Yeah, my phone's going off. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, two returns. One is a football return. Former NFL big man Bob Golick played for the Raiders. Uh, you guys might recognize the last name. If you listen to Mike and Mike, that's Mike Golick, and uh, it says Bob's brother. So he signed this photo. Remember this photo because I got to show you something in just a second. Um, signed two of three. Here's the second one he signed. He, of course, he was in Saved by the Bell, the college years. So there he is with the cast. That's awesome. And I did not sign this when he went to Notre Dame. Notre Dame, Michigan, big rivalry. He's actually number 55 up there. Um, but did not sign, but that's cool. Um, this is what I want to show you, that Raiders pitcher. Let's see if this focuses in. So he wrote a little something on the inside of my SASE. Uh, that Raider pick is one of my favorites, so pretty cool. Uh, next one, JFK related. And you guys know I'm always excited to get these in. Uh, this one's really cool because a lot of these guys just, they kind of disappeared after the tragic events. And uh, if you guys ever heard of the book, The Kennedy Detail, you guys know that I'm talking about the Secret Service. Uh, that's what they were called. And uh, uh, Clint Hill and uh, Gerald Blaine wrote the book, uh, The Kennedy Detail. But this is Secret Service member uh, Paul Landis. And he wrote Paul Landis, The Kennedy Detail, 1960-1964. Uh, and this is just an amazing shot. This is in the motorcade. Of course, they're just passing uh, the school book depository up here. Uh, this is seconds after the shot that hit Kennedy in the neck. Uh, if it was a better photo, you could actually see, see him clutching his neck there. Uh, the Secret Service the guy with the sunglasses. Of course, it's Clint Hill. And then uh, Paul's on the other side uh, looking back at the school book depository. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, next two, of course, the ones I always send with every return, a overview of Dealey Plaza, and he signed down here on the triple underpass. I uh, just signed that one, Paul Landis, and uh, of course I send this one also with all of the returns, uh, the first day issue. It's just a, it's very cool because it's a great place for him to sign, you know, a nice white spot, and uh, two archer with best wishes, Paul Landis, Kennedy Detail. Again, put the dates there. That's awesome. Also included a note, which is always awesome. Uh, Dear Michael, thank you for your kind letter and good luck with the autograph project. This is a great hobby, and I hope your son appreciates uh, appreciates it and continues. Best wishes, Paul Landis. So that's always awesome to get something like that. And like I said, especially those Secret Service guys. Um, I know Clint Hill did not talk about the the day and really didn't have anything to do with the public for a long time um, so I know a lot of those guys took it took it really really hard because um, I mean that was that's their job to protect the president and uh, so it's pretty cool that they uh, some of them kind of opened up a little bit uh, you know 50 years later so uh, anyways ramble 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 Mike from the Autograph Network out.